Welcome to Parev TV. We are excited to share with you information about a very, very well-known Armenian uh, scientist who visited us from uh, Russia, from Armenia, spent some time with the engineers and the scientists in America. And joining us to give us more information is a good friend, Mr. Hovanes Mardirosian, who up to recently was the president of the AESA, and this year he has turned to be President Emiratus. Basically, he is giving a chance to the younger generation to lead the organization. AASA had an impressive uh, few years in our community. They have put their mark on the community life. They've organized activities, promoted a lot of uh, 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 tutorials and uh, mentoring. mentoring sessions. So for that, we are greatly indebted. You have taken over the uh, professionals and tried to do them better professionals and attach them to Armenia. About the scientist who has come from Armenia, all I know is his name is Yuri Oganesian. You have met him, you have honored him. Tell us more about it. Yeah, it, it is very exciting to, to see a, a scientist, world-known scientist, among the science community, especially nuclear physicist, and he is from Russia, uh, Dubon uh, uh, area, which is the uh, laboratory that, where he does all his research. He's been doing this research for almost 50 years. And uh, he has done discovery of all the heavy elements that we have nowadays, almost like the 13th element, 113th element, 115th element, and the 17th element, uh, and 118th element, for which he has been nominated for Nobel Prize, but politically he was not elected. Uh, but this one should do a Nobel Prize nomination because the organization, physicist, uh, physics organization, as well as the chemical chem, uh, chemist organization of United Nations International, nominated him, and he will, and this element, 118th element, is going to, is named already uh, on his honor, and it will be called OG, Oganeson, which is Oganesia. Oh, yes. I am very, very proud uh, to have a, some such a person in our, uh, among us uh, and, and visiting us in the United States. There's so many things happening, so many prominent people who are coming to light because of organizations such as AESA or uh, AHPO who are organized enough to welcome them. Why was he visiting the area? Well, uh, he, we are going to honor him at West Coast, uh, our headquarter is going to honor him and is going to give him um, an Barzumian Award, which we give to a prominent scientist in the world, and, and he is one of them, of course. And he, he was going to come in November. Unfortunately, he did not make it because of visa issue, but he is able to come, and his family is in New York. And since he visited New York last week, I see. we gave him a, a I prompt see. reception, okay. and uh, the community leaders and friends came, and he was very, very humble, and he accepted our invitation. We had a great time last Sunday. What was his impression of the community? Did he say anything about the way we are organized? We are welcoming, <laughs> able to... Yeah, he, he was very surprised that we could, uh, you know, bring things together in short notice. And uh, he was impressed with people. Uh, David Najarian was there, uh, Berjaras, and uh, community leaders. Uh, my nephew, Shant uh, Mardirosian from uh, near his foundation, was there. And uh, it was really nice, really cloud uh, people that uh, it was very uh, friendly atmosphere. We had a great time, and he spoke in English. He, uh, of course, it was at the high level of technical information, but overall, it was great. Tell me more about the man. Okay, he's a very humble person, and he's a, he's a nuclear physicist, and and uh, he was grow uh, he grew up in Russia, of course, and uh, this laboratory chose him, and in, with a with a famous person in in uh, Dubna. Uh, laboratory, which is a nuclear uh, accelerators center, where they do smashing of two nuclear atoms together and to come up with a new element. He is the father or grandfather of cold fusion. 
And when, in 1970, he was the first one who came up with the technique how to do cold fusion. Hence, we started finding very heavy, heavy elements. Uh, and the world knows about him more than our community. So we are trying to introduce him to our community as much as we can and help to get him nominated for a uh, Nobel. Nobel Prize. When is the uh, gathering in California in those honors? It's uh, 19th, uh, January 19th. Oh, 19th. January 19th. Yes. Uh, he will be going there, after which he will be coming back in January. Then he will go to Paris and uh, I think Vienna, United Nations, uh, is going to officially open the periodic chart where his name is on it. Tell me about the AESA very quickly. Why is it important for the community? What is its mission and how is it able to accomplish what is mission? Well, uh, as you know, I'm a physicist and, and most of the group that we have are professionals and they have many, many year, years of experience. Uh, as you know, you're a mathematician and we have a lot of uh, scientists, physicists, uh, engineers, structural engineers which have done prominent jobs, architects which have done prominent, uh, I don't know, famous jobs. As you know, we honor those people. And, and uh, we do help the young, next young generation to go into this field we do mentoring for Mentoring them, is very important. Which is, when we came, we did not have anybody to ask for or what area to go or what field is important. And engineering has always been uh, the field that uh, uh, it gives you good uh, returns, satisfaction yourself. I've done, uh, as you know, I work for Bell Laboratories. I've done research. And I did get satisfaction from my work, and I got paid well, too, as well. <laughs> no question about that. So overall, uh, the main objective is to help our fellow engineers and the young engineers who are graduating and find them jobs and help them out and mentor them. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we are really happy to be able to contact uh, uh, our members of the community to shed light about their work. And as you hear, there is so much happening in the Armenian world, in this world of science, especially uh, what I will encourage you to do is check, go and Google the name Yuri Oganesian. And he is a physicist, he is a scientist, and kind of feel as to what he's doing and how we, on our end, are helping Armenia move forward. And as Avanes said beautifully, he is going to be nominated the Nobel Prize. Maybe we'll hear these in the news very soon. But uh, we will do our share to promote that with great pride. And thank you again, Avanes. Thank you. Thank you very much.